Some Vancouver Canucks fans consider Mike Gillis one of the worst GMs in Canucks history. Well, today, I will go through some of his worst moves as Canucks GM. This will include some of his questionable draft picks, bad trades, and signings. You cannot possibly make a Mike Gillis video without talking about the outrageous Roberto Luongo contract he handed out. On September 2nd, 2010, Gillis re-signed Roberto Luongo to a 12-year deal with a total of $64 million. He would be having a 5.33 million cap hit until the age of 43. This contract was bad for two reasons. One, because he may not even play until the age of 43. And if he does, he's not going to perform up to the same level. Two, he's going to be hogging up a lot of cap hit when he gets to the age of 36. As everyone knows, after Luongo signed the contract, he did not live up to the expectations of that contract. And the emergence of Corey Schneider as a formidable number one goalie in the NHL did not help either. The emergence of Corey Schneider as a number one goalie led to him being traded at the draft in 2013 because Roberto Luongo's contract was deemed untradeable at the time. So at the draft, Mike Gillis dealt goaltender Corey Schneider to the New Jersey Devils in exchange for their first round pick in 2013. That was the ninth overall pick used to select Bo Horvat. While Bo Horvat may turn into a very good pro player, Corey Schneider has already turned into an all-star caliber goalie for the Devils. Plain and simple, the Canucks got fleeced on this deal. On March 4, 2014, the Vancouver Canucks dealt Roberto Luongo back to the Florida Panthers in exchange for Jacob Markstrom and Sean Mathias. The Vancouver Canucks fans were rejoicing at the time of this trade, but they were not rejoicing after he helped Florida win the division crown this year. So after all is said and done, they just traded two all-star caliber goalies in Schneider and Luongo. They have Ryan Miller, who is a shell of himself, and Jacob Markstrom, who has yet to be proven. After all this controversy, after all the trades, after all the dust settles, the Canucks still did not fix their goaltending problems. Now I will look at some of the questionable picks Mike Gillis made. In 2008, he opted to select Cody Hogson with the 10th overall pick. Cody Hogson didn't quite pan out and he was ultimately traded for Zach Castian, who didn't pan out either. Some of the players that could have been taken instead in 2008 were Eric Carlson, Roman Yossi, and Jordan Eberle. With their first pick in 2009, they selected Jordan Schroeder with the 22nd overall pick. Jordan Schroeder turned out to be a complete bust. He went on to Minnesota and he's done pretty much nothing. Players they could have had instead Ryan O'Reilly, Jacob Silverberg, Kyle Palmieri, and Marcus Johansson. With their 2011 first round pick, 29th overall, they selected Nicholas Jensen. Nicholas Jensen, who? Players they could have had instead, Brandon Saad, Johnny Goudreau, and Nikita Kucherov. The point is, the Canucks did not do a very good job at drafting during the Gillis era. This is why the Canucks are in a big dilemma right now because they do not have up-and-coming stars to replace aging stars. You know you did a bad job as GM when the mistakes you made as GM are still looming over the organization. Next episode, I'm going to be talking about Glenn Sather's worst moves as Rangers GM.